travelers and welcome back to In Constant With Favor. I'm Hime, your host, and today we are going to a country that has a small uninhabited island called Kennedy Island, which is named after an incident that happened during World War II with JFK. Its official language is English, but only 2% of the population actually speaks it. And it has the world's largest salt lagoon, the Morovo Lagoon. Do you have any ideas? I'm talking about the Solomon Islands. So this group of islands is located in the Pacific Ocean, just right from Papua New Guinea. They are part of the Melanesian region. Their main island is Guadalcanal, where Honiara, the capital, is located. They were known for being headhunters and cannibals before the Europeans arrived. And even though the islands were inhabited for thousands and thousands of years, they were later claimed by the Spanish, the British, and there's some terrible fighting between the USA and Japan during World War II. The thing is, before going there, it was really hard organizing or planning anything because of the lack of information. Even I couldn't get much information about accommodation. So I stayed a few days in Honiara, and after a couple of trips to the tourism office, I ended up finding a solution and a plan. I ended up spending most of my time 20 kilometers away from the capital in a place called Dolphin View Beach, and later on, farther away in Colupa Beach. So let me show you that. So both places were amazing. Dolphin View Beach is run by a family, that they are super helpful, and they helped me find Colupa as well, because I needed to go do something else, and I didn't want to go back to Honiara. And Colupa is run by a lovely lady that takes care of it. Both places are great. They got homemade food, which is delicious, and lots of coconuts and fresh fruit, which I love. There's a lot to do around Guadalcanal. You can either go visit the Vila War Museum, which is an open air museum with different aircraft and machine guns, or you can go snorkel at a shipwreck, or dive, you can dive as well, at Bonegi, which is cool because most of the time when it comes to shipwrecks, you need to dive, and I don't, so there we go. Or you can just enjoy the dolphin swimming in the morning. It was a morning that I, I was having breakfast and I saw 12. 12 just like jumping around and it's like, what? This is so amazing. Love it. You can also stay in Honiara and visit the Holy Cross Catholic Cathedral or Honiara Central Market as well. Or just sunbathe and relax snorkel around the rave or just take a swim it's good just talk to the people talk to locals they are very very nice check it out schedules when it comes to transportation I didn't get to see any other islands I wanted to go to Aoki that is in Malaita an island that is just across but I didn't get around to it so that's why I decided to just concentrate my trip in Guadalcanal Western province is very popular among 
divers because of the shipwrecks that you got there. So maybe eventually when I finally get my diving course done because I haven't done any, I should go check it out myself. So there you go guys, this is what I've seen of the Solomon Islands. Did you find it interesting? Did you like it? If you did, don't forget to follow and subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And if you got any questions, just leave it in the comments down below and I'll get back to you. So share with your friends. You might get some crazy person that wants to join you on this crazy trip. I don't get many of those people. And remember, just add it to your list. Because as I say, I haven't been there, but it's on my list. So why not add it to yours? And that's all guys for today. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.